Welcome back, Balloon Family. This is Jose, and today I am super excited because I'm gonna share a video about how to take care of your hands and what I do as a balloon artist to take care of my hands. A lot of people really don't talk about this, and I've done a little bit of research and I've been doing this full time now for a year and a half. So I want to share some things that I've done, especially on those days where. You just work a lot, you have long hours on a weekend. So I just want to share that with you guys. So let's get started. So the first thing here on my list is stretching. Uh, so uh, some really basic stretches can be, you grab your, your palm of the hand and using your other hand, you're just going to do a basic stretch out. This really stretches these tendons that are constantly moving. Uh, while you're working with your hands. So basic stretch is to go with the underhand and then over as well. You can stretch that just to stretch these muscles up here that uh, can be used whenever you're working a lot with your fingers, with your hands. Of course, you know, also just making sure you, you stretch out your fingers is another good thing that I use a lot, but this is probably the basic stretch that gets me going for the beginning of my session of a party or the day and then I do it at the end as well. Next thing on the list here is some compression gloves and let me tell you that I noticed a difference the first day I started using these and I came to figure out this little hack from the person who did the world Guinness record of the biggest balloon puppy. And I saw him working, he said he was working 15 hour days and I noticed his hands had gloves. So I did a little bit of research and come to find out that these are arthritis compression gloves. So a lot of people use them whenever they're typing a lot in the computer. And so I decided to try them out and let me tell you, it does slow me down slightly, but there's a lot of pros uh, to it. It protects my hands. I don't feel super tired at the end of the day as I did before whenever I worked eight hour days on the weekend or throughout the week. And so it does make a difference. It actually looks kind of cool. It adds to the to the outfit, right? It looks kind of like a magician. And also there's some benefits as well that it, whenever it's a really hot day, um, your palms might get sweaty. And so this actually soaks in the moisture so that you're not getting sweat on the balloons and the balloons actually slide much faster whenever you're working with a balloon it it'll, it'll slide a little bit faster so i think there's a lot of pros to it and usually they cost about 15 dollars for a pair i also have some red ones here and something that tends to happen with mine is i use scissors for my balloons so sometimes when i'm working really fast i cut a balloon it might catch a little bit of the glove but other than that you know it also protects me when I'm working with markers I won't have marks all over the place in my hand so I can just wash these and the the sharpie usually comes off as well if you're really enjoying this video about how to take care of your hands I would really appreciate if you could smash that thumbs up hand button down below somehow it really helps our channel so next thing here on the list is arthritis pain cream and this arthritis pain cream, I, you know, this is the generic. This is the, the other brand that I started using uh, pretty early on. And let me tell you, these creams have really made a difference because I apply this gel at night after a long day of working or sometimes even before working because I'm wearing gloves. So it doesn't have, the, the cream doesn't go through and get on the balloon. So. I'll put it on my palms usually and massage it out. I can show you here a little close up on how I apply the, the cream. So usually about a piece length. Uh, that's a little bit too much. And then I'll massage it, rubbing it into my hands. And then usually it's in between these fingers that, that I get a little bit of pain. and also using the thumb so this part is one of the main areas that gets affected so making sure I rub it in pretty well get a good massage 
and honestly it's it's a great feeling when your hands don't hurt and so i definitely recommend it i apply it also on the wrist usually down below here they can get pretty tired as well from working with balloons so that's another really cool tip that i learned um so hopefully it helps out with you guys as well i'll also leave a link down below so that you guys can uh check these out up next we have the hand massager that i use for the end of the day pretty much whenever my hands might be a little bit tired i will add some of the cream um or i will add it afterwards and then first use this so that way i don't have cream inside of the hand massager and this thing really has um <laughs> helped a lot because it has different settings it has a heat setting it has vibration setting and it also has just different massages that it that it does and you just place this next to your nightstand or bed and starts doing all the work it has different levels of intensity and different programs like i said different massages and after just 15 minutes of each hand at night usually the next day i'll wake up feeling much better this is by lunix i know there's several brands on amazon on on the internet but this is the per the one that i've personally used for the last year and a half so it's done a, re a really good difference i've recommended it to other balloon artists they've found really great value in this and since i work a lot with my hands i do also music for a living so i really want to make sure that i'm taking care of these hands and this is one of the additions that i've added it's roughly about 79 dollars or 80 dollars something like that with some taxes so definitely another good recommendation in case you're wanting to level up on taking care of your hands another thing that i've been trying out recently as well is going to the chiropractor and yes the chiropractor might do different things uh they might work on my neck because sometimes they have a lot of tendons and muscles that lead to the the shoulders and sometimes you're working a lot and you start tensing up a little bit uh, especially when it gets really stressful so they'll work on my my whole arm uh, but they also help out and they somewhat pop my wrist here uh, just to make sure that it's not tensing up and they kind of tug on my fingers so it releases some of the air in the joints so that's another thing that i like to go to to the chiropractor i use one of the ones that is a franchise it's called the joint and i've had a really good experience i know that there's different chiropractors but i found a really good one he really goes well in depth on how to take care of my body learning about what causes inflammation in the joints and so that's good to know because since i'm working a lot with my hands and my body I'm moving around usually standing i want to make sure that my knees and everything in my body is working well whenever i go on the weekend to work it's almost like an athlete so you got to take care of of your hands just like an athlete takes care of their body so that's another great tip that i recommend and it's it's optional but it definitely does help one of the things that i've heard from other balloon artists whenever asking for recommendations on how to take care of your hands and stuff like that i come to find out that ice actually helps out a lot and just placing a little bit of an ice pack or now they have uh, little mittens where you can put your hands inside of an ice pack and it kind of cools you from all around i actually haven't used it as much so i haven't really seen the benefits of what it can do but ice is usually used for inflammation and so if your hands have been working a lot and they are tired uh, perhaps there can be some inflammation in some of the smaller muscles in the hand so perhaps using this along with the hand massager and the heat in it uh, can provide a really good relaxing sensation for your hands that way they don't hurt that's the goal of this to take care of your hands so that they last you a long time thank you everyone for watching if you really enjoy this content on how to take care of your hands please let us know down below in the comment section which of these tips actually helped out the most 
So if you do try them out, we love to hear your feedback. This is the first video of many to come on how to take care of your health as a balloon artist. So stay tuned for more and feel free to watch our other videos on how to be a balloon artist and make this into a career. Until next time, we will see you soon. Take care.